Dr. Matt Connolly. I'm the podiatrist for Commonwealth Orthopedic Centers based in Northern Kentucky. Today's video concerns diabetic foot care and especially home care of the diabetic. Many diabetics know that their feet can have a problem, but they don't know why they're seeing a podiatrist or what they should be doing. The rules that we use have been developed by the American Diabetes Association, and they've done a very wonderful job of setting up research that makes these rules precise and effective. And the difference between how people do this kind of care is based on whether they're called a complicated or a non-complicated diabetic. A non-complicated diabetic, in terms of feet, will have normal feeling and normal circulation. And that makes them, in effect, for us, a normal patient. The reason we want to check the feet is because there's a risk of amputation. And in fact, that risk of amputation is 10 times greater in the diabetic population than in the rest of the population. Let me fudge the numbers a little bit and say that a little differently. There are about 330 million Americans. There are about 30 million American diabetics. If you take the 30 million American diabetics on one side and the 300 million rest of us on the other side, it's the same number of leg amputations. 10 times is a huge number. We want to stop that. But if you're non-complicated, if your sugars have remained in line and you still have good circulation and you still have good feeling, then your rate of amputation is not the same as the 30 million, it's the same as the 300 million. And that's very simple. Don't fall out of a tree, don't play on the train tracks, don't get a cancer, you'll keep your leg. And we're very happy about that. The rules are very simple then. For the non-complicated diabetic, keep your sugars in line. Every doctor will tell you that, and that's correct. And secondly, your feet should be checked once a year. It doesn't matter whether I do it as a podiatrist, whether your family physician does it, whether your diabetic expert does it, but somebody knowledgeable should look at the feet once a year. The studies show that that works just a little bit better than you looking on your own. The other type of patient in terms of foot care is the complicated diabetic. And a complicated diabetic has had such high blood sugars over such a long period of time that it hurts the small nerves and the small arteries. And that means that their risk of amputation has gone up 10 times. And if you think about it, diabetics are always told certain pieces of the body that are going bad. The eye, the liver, the kidney, the fingers, the toes, the genitals. And all of these places have little tiny nerves and little tiny arteries together. That's what goes bad in high blood sugar situations. And I'm gonna use a word that isn't quite scientifically correct here. Those little nerves and those little arteries clog. They don't work. In terms of the eye, the liver, the kidney, those are intricate devices with little networks. And when those don't work, that's when those things fall apart. In terms of the feet or the toes or the genitals, that's the ends of the body. You know, in the middle of the body, you have the, the, the super highway. And as you go down, this is the four lane, and this is the two lane, this is the one lane, and this is the alley. So the farther down you go in the body, the smaller the structure, the more likely there's a problem. If your foot is numb, if your foot has poor circulation, we need to make sure you don't have an amputation. And this is the way to do it. Numbness especially means that you need to examine your foot every day. I have normal feeling, and if I step on a tack, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna say a bad word, and I'm gonna pull the tack out. The numb patient doesn't jump, doesn't cuss, and the tack stays in, and that's the danger. Instead of three seconds of damage, it can be three minutes, it can be three hours, it can be three days if you're not checking your feet. Every day you check your feet. Also, keeping your sugar in line and see, being seen regularly by a podiatrist becomes a concern there. And we want to take all the sharp instruments out of your hands unless your situation is so normal that your doctor allows you to go ahead and do certain things. Hopefully, with daily inspection, with regular care from a doctor, with keeping your sugars in line, we keep the foot on, we keep the leg on, and that's the goal of the American Diabetic Association, and that's our goal as well. I'm Dr. Matt Connolly for Commonwealth Orthopedic Centers.